chest pain comes and goes causes chest pain may arise and subside every few minutes or over several days the cause may be related to the heart the muscles the digestive system or psychological factors underlying causes of chest pain may be mild as in the case of acid reflux or they may be serious and indicate for example a heart attack it is important to recognize warning signs and look for accompanying symptoms is it a sign of something serious pain in the chest that comes and goes may signal a problem with the heart respiratory system or digestion also in some people it occurs during panic attacks there is no way to accurately self diagnose chest pain based on symptoms alone see a doctor if chest pain keeps coming back gets worse or accompanies other symptoms pain that lasts for weeks or months is unlikely to be caused by a life threatening emergency the issue is more likely related to the muscles or skeletal structure heart problems are less likely to cause pain that last for only a few moments is revealed by taking medication goes away when taking a deep breath only affects a specific point on the chest is relieved when the area of the chest is massaged many types of chest pain come and go even the pain of a heart attack may temporarily get better then return to better understand the cause of chest pain look carefully for other symptoms and keep in mind any risk factors for medical conditions gastrointestinal problems a wide variety of gastrointestinal problems can lead to pain in the chest or near the ribs for example acid reflux can cause a burning sensation in the chest gallstones can cause sudden intense pain that lasts for several hours disappears and returns ulcers can cause pain that comes and goes when a person has acid reflux chest pain tends to be more intense shortly after a meal also it may be worse after consuming alcohol or fatty foods if a person suspects that chest pain is related to a stomach or liver issue it is important to see a doctor however this type of pain does not usually signal an emergency muscle pain muscle pain caused by tension and injury or a chronic pain syndrome of an underlying chest pain symptoms of muscle pain vary greatly the pain may be sharp or dull shooting or throbbing radiating outward or concentrated in one spot chest pain is more likely to be muscle related if it gets better with massage gets worse when a person inhales sharply and suddenly feels similar to muscle pain experienced in the past panic attack chest pain can be a frightening symptom of a panic attack and it may make a person feel more anxious the pain can be similar to the to that of a heart attack some people with panic attacks may feel as if they are dying this attacks often go away with deep breathing in some cases they may last for only a few minutes if the pain does not go away it can be difficult to distinguish a panic attack from a heart attack without the help of a doctor respiratory infection respiratory infections can cause chest pain especially when they also cause frequent coughing some people develop a condition called pleurisy following a respiratory infection pleurisy is inflammation of the pleura which is the tissue that wraps around the outside of the lungs see a doctor if chest or lung pain lingers after a respiratory infection angina angina is pain or discomfort in the chest that occurs when the heart does not get enough blood people with angina may feel tension pressure or a squeezing sensation in the chest the pain may also radiate to the jaw 
the pain of angina is similar to that of a heart attack and angina one risk factor for the condition angina is usually a symptom of coronary heart disease or chd which occurs when the arteries become clogged chd is also a risk factor for a heart attack anyone who suspects that they have it should see a doctor heart attack sudden intense pain in the chest may indicate a heart attack or cardiac arrest this result when faulty electrical impulses or blockages stop blood from reaching the heart warning signs of a heart attack include pain in the center of the chest a feeling of crushing pressure on the chest pain that lasts longer when than a few minutes pain that radiates to the shoulder neck arms back or jaw nausea dizziness or shortness of breath symptoms may differ based on sex women tend to experience nausea and dizziness shortness of breath and back or jaw pain more frequently than men for example and they may not have the classic symptom of pain in the center of the chest a heart attack is a medical emergency if a person suspects that they are having one or if they experience any new unexplained chest pain they should contact emergency services right away individuals with cardiovascular risk factors such as a chd a history of heart attacks obesity or diabetes are more likely to have heart attacks lung issues problems with the lungs including infections and pneumonia can lead to chest pain and shortness of breath lung disorders are serious anyone who suspects that they have one should seek medical care within 1 to 2 days however being unable to breathe or experiencing intense lung related chest pain is considered a medical emergency mastitis this refers to an infection in breast tissue mastitis can be intensely painful a person may experience swelling shooting or sharp pains in the breasts or chest and a fever mastitis is common during breast feeding the infection may clear up on its own though some people require antibiotics or a hospital stay pulmonary embolism a pulmonary embolism is a blockage in a blood vessel that lead that leads to the lungs an embolism occurs when a blood clot has broken loose often from the legs if a person has a blood clot in a leg they may experience pain in the area pulmonary embolisms can result in intense chest pain and shortness of breath they are life threatening medical emergencies breastfeeding this can lead to pain in the chest and around the breasts the following factors may be responsible enlargement of the breasts the let down reflex mastitis hearing a baby cry some people experience breast or nipple pain as the body adjusts in the first few weeks of breast feeding if the pain is mild and comes and goes waiting it out is fine talk to a doctor if the pain is intense or last for several weeks how to know if chest pain is heart related chest pain should be evaluated by a physician it is it is not always possible to self diagnose the cause based on symptoms alone chest pain is more likely to be heart related if a person has cardiovascular risk factors a history of heart disease shortness of breath pain that does not improve with medication or massage pain that gets worse over time heart issues are unlikely to cause chest pain that improves with massage or painkillers feels similar to earlier pain that was not heart related occurs with symptoms of problems unrelated to the to the heart 
when to see a doctor a doctor should evaluate any recurring chest pain if the pain keeps coming back see a doctor within a few days chest pain that disappears may have been caused by a minor infection a muscle spasm or a similar issue seek emergency medical care if the pain is intense and does not go away getting gradually worse accompanied by dizziness trouble breathing or shortness of breath accompanied by a squeezing or crushing sensation in the center of the chest lasting for more than a few minutes